Hello there, this is Alex Sturgeon, Hobbytown Hobbyplex, and we're here for a what's new, uh, pretty much for the month of August. We have a ton of stuff, so we're gonna try to get through this as quickly as we can. I know I forgot some stuff, and if I forget stuff, then it'll just be on the next one. If I've already done stuff, well then you guys probably already know that, and uh, that's okay, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, first, we've got some new tires from Proline. This is the Mirage Belted Tire. It is for the, uh, like the UDR, and the uh, Mojave. Notice I said Mojave, not Mojave or <laughs> Mo Mojave, whatever you want to call it, it's Mojave. And if I'm saying it wrong, I'm not, but I'm, if I want. Okay, uh, some Supermoto tires came in for the bike, um, for that Promoto X, and uh, I think we're just waiting on the rears now to come in. We've also got some hole shots, which is good, so your uh, tire selection's coming around. These are a lot softer and squishier than I thought they'd be. Um, be very interested to see when the rears come in stock. They're also S3 compounds, so in theory, they should work on the off-road track. Um, we'll be changing up the off-road track for 8 scale in about a month, and when that happens, I'm gonna take the bike out there again. And if it works good, might start bringing them on Friday nights to race. We'll see what happens. Uh, got in a new drag tire just for the end of the season, just in time for the end of the season, the VHT Crushers and Red Compound from Sweep. Uh, I was told that these are really, really good on um, kind of like no prep surfaces, so I went ahead and got them in. They came off the back order. I think we've already sold one or two, so that's good. Uh, we got in the brand new, just in time for carpet off-road season, starting in October, October 7th. Uh, we got in the brand new Pin Swag and Fuzz Bite Wide Fronts from J Concepts. Um, they fit on a regular. Um, a regular wheel instead of the uh, the skinny wheels that most of the carpet off-road racers were using for the last couple years. So I'll be very interested to see how those work uh, once we get going. Some more J Concept stuff came in. Uh, Fling Kings and the Holds. These are for your 124 scale crawlers and uh, they're just little miniatures of their bigger 110 scale cousins and uh, Fling Kings too. Remember we're going to be doing monster truck racing on uh, Tuesday nights alongside our mini racing down there. Should be a lot of fun. Um, I'm gonna start getting a monster truck ready to go. And uh, we've got the other ones, we've got, what are they, ruptures and um, tusks also coming in, hopefully this week. And then we'll have them all, we'll have everything. Uh, a little bit more 24 scale stuff. We've got the Proline uh, metal bead locks with the, with the brass ring. So we have got a menagerie of wheels and tires over there for your 24 scale stuff. Um, some new servos. I can't remember if I included these in the last one, but these are the uh, NSDRC, which is no superior designs. And uh, these are very, very popular servos for both crawlers, but also for mini bees and stuff. Um, we've also got the, uh, the mounts in stock so that you can mount these in your crawler. And I have seen, um, I have seen these also installed in your mini bee, which is really good. Probably gonna get one. Another new servo, another good um, 500 ounce servo in that under $100 range. Um, this is from uh, MT Racing. We've been carrying a lot of their um, uh, like wires and adapters and stuff like that for a while. And uh, they started including this, so we went ahead and got that and gave it a try. That's so like if you're breaking like a Creighton 6S servo or something like that. Um, we usually do like the Eco Power 120, but around the same price range as this one and it's a bigger servo and uh, metal cased, so should be really good for that. 25 spline too, so you don't have to change much. Um, okay, one more mini thing. So this I'm super excited about because we've been waiting for this for a year. This is the Furitech, uh, Furitech uh, Kraken brushless motor for the Mini B, and then the uh, Speedcat brushless speed controller for the Mini B. So you put these together, and you've got a brand new Mini B brushless system out there to compete with the Hobby Wing and the Spectrum. So, um, not crazy expensive either. So, Mini B Racing's coming back uh, in October. I'm really excited for that too. Get mine out of storage and kind of, I need to work on it. I need to do an after hours on that. Just just an after hours alone on the Mini B some night. Uh, okay, we're almost done with the little stuff. So, uh, JT Bearing Company, we've been carrying um, their bearings now for a while. Uh, Basically, uh, A-Main has been carrying them for quite a bit, so we're able to get them. Um, <clears throat> eight scale season's also coming up soon. I hate to say it, but summer's almost over, people. This is a titanium clutch shoe, okay? Not shoe, screw. 
uh, basically what this does is it uh, simplifies um, how you tighten your clutch bell down, okay? Um, yeah. A Techno fuel tank guard. So what this does, it's like a heat shield for your fuel tank. So your pipe is usually right next to your fuel. That can get everything really hot, make stuff not run good. The whole idea is to keep that a little bit cooler. And then finally, we got a carbon fiber nose wing, which I thought was pretty neat. And uh, you know, a little bit of aerodynamics for you eight scale racers out there. JT Baron. Okay, uh, we found a great source for 3D printer filament. We had carried a uh, 3D printer filament for quite a long time, and then that source went away, and then we were like, what do we do? But now we found a new source. It's $21.99, $22.99, kind of in that nice price range. Whole bunch of different colors. I only brought three of them over there, but there's also yellow, green, and purple. Purple. I think. So, uh, yeah, make us your source now for 3D filament. Uh, it's available at both stores, La Vista and here, okay? All right, it's kit time. We're only, we're only one quarter through this one, by the way, so. Not necessarily a new car, but we have been carrying it new here uh, at the Plex. We've got a few guys down there running the uh, X-Ray XB2s and uh, pretty good price tag on them, all things considered. Um, I know this car can be used on both dirt and carpet. I'm, last year, a lot of guys were getting the X-Ray stuff on carpet and it just sort of carried over to the dirt. So uh, we've got parts and stuff too, so when you break it, you can fix it. And uh, yeah, they're always coming out with new versions too, so don't let that scare you. I mean, most of the time the new versions, there's like one or two things they change and they're interchangeable, so it should be fine. Um, I forgot to put this one on the last one, I think. This is the brand new uh, T6.4 from Team Associated. Um, brand new truck, it's got the 13 millimeter shocks. Um, it's got some adjustments to the front bell cranks. Uh, I'm trying to think what else is there. Basically just an updated version of their truck that's always been really good for the last couple years especially. So my son got one and he actually TQ'd and won the Summer Series this weekend. So um, I know it works. So you should come in and upgrade your stuff and buy it. <laughs> uh, okay, this one we've had for a little while and I actually forgot to put it in the last one. Uh, this is the Tamiya BBX. This car is super rad. It's not crazy expensive, it's about 250 bucks. It's got all metric hardware on it hardware and it's machine hardware so like a lot of Tamiya cars they've got the the uh, um, the uh, metric uh, Phillips right but this is actually all uh, um, hex wrenches and uh, instead of being that coarse thread this is all machine thread um, that's just one of the things that's cool about it it's a trailing arm suspension it's got uh, four wheel independent um, suspension here it's got the cage um, but because it's not a metal like a pop metal type car it's a lot cheaper so uh, also forgot to put this one on the last one. This is the brand new Axial um, K10. So they came out that Proline 40th anniversary one and those sold for a little bit. Well, they basically took that same body and put it on base camp and they made it cheaper, which is nice. Speaking of base camp, we got in the base camp raw builder's kit. Um, only difference from this one is that it is a straight axle instead of a portal axle, which, you know, some of us are kind of like, wait a minute, what's going on here? But uh, if you want to build a crawler from the ground up. This has uh, bare bones, just the chassis and, and the axles and the shocks. You do there's everything else separate. All the electronics, the body, the wheels and tires, everything, okay? Woo, okay. Uh, let's see, where do we start? We got in some Mini Zs, some more Mini Zs. We're always getting in new Mini Zs because Mini Zs are cool. Um, they're relatively inexpensive and uh, they work really well and they all have hard bodies on them and they work really good, okay? So, uh, got those. I believe those are all Subarus. Again, most of you that know this channel know I'm not a car person, but I know those are Subarus, so <laughs> I'm getting that one right. Uh, we got in our first delivery of the TRX4M High Trail. Um, I don't think these are for sale until next week, I think is what they said. So uh, we'll be getting in all the colors. There's red and blue. And uh, yeah, it's a good looking truck. Um, may or may not do an unboxing on that uh, here in the next few days. We'll find out if I have time, I can do it. Uh, we also got in the Pro Scale uh, Raptor 4x4. Um, got it in, of course, we had the, the, uh, the first delivery, and then the next week they were out, and we almost, we actually did sell out. Well, we just got it back in just in time to do the What's New today. Um, so, so far, so good. Everybody's bought one of these, has been really happy with them, and uh, they seem pretty tough, just like a regular slash 4x4, except extended and made to look more scale. 
All right, let's move on to some airplane stuff. We've got in the brand new Rage F4 Corsair with uh, the triple color. So the old one was just one color. This has three colors. Same thing with the P51 Mustang. It's a new color. So nothing too crazy. Um, basically what I tell people is when you fly these, fly them over grass. We sell a lot of these people who want to get into flying um, but don't have the space. These are perfect for like your backyard, um, you know, maybe like uh, if you live cross street from a park or something like that where you can't do the big ones or where you're not allowed to do the big ones, that's what these are for. But fly them over grass, okay? Don't fly them over concrete. Uh, forgot the, this one, the last one. This one was a big deal for us. This is the Inductrix. This is the, re, the, 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 the reintroduction of one of my favorite little quads, the, uh, the Blade Inductrix. It's 60 bucks and this thing is virtually indestructible and this is what had like an entire like like uh, revolution of indoor uh, FPV racing was when they came out with this. Guys were putting little cameras on them and they called them tiny whoops and then they flew them and then they actually came out with a version that had a camera on it and then they just stopped making them. <laughs> like I don't get it. So they brought it back. I'm super stoked. I hope they bring back an FPV version again but this is a great start because our industry needs a cheap, fun drone. Because every Christmas people come in and they go, do you carry drones? And we show them what we did have and wasn't that good? We're back, we're back baby. Inductrix, I love it. I think that's it for RC. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure, okay. Now let's get into some toys. So we've got some dots. So this is uh, kind, of, um, kind of what goes in our arts aisle and uh, very, very popular um, ever since we started carrying them. This is a brand new one. Uh, we don't even have it tagged yet. It's My Little Pony. I know that there's a lot more back there and we'll probably include a lot more on the next one, but we wanted to get this out here. You can see the new packaging. Everything looks kind of shiny and happy and new. Um, yeah, and the fact that it's My Little Pony. I know some dudes that like My Little Pony, so, you know. Bronies. Bronies, yeah. Uh, okay, some more di diamond dots that I saw, uh, unicorn. Um, and of course, dude, it's not that far away. We're getting in real close to Q4, which means Christmas time. There's your Santa Claus diamond dots. Get them built, set them up for Christmas morning, make it look real good. Uh, some, newest, some newer Lego, we got in some, uh, some Harry Potter. And this is the uh, Hogwarts Express, okay? Uh, these dreams, I saw this one, and if you guys know this channel, you know I like space stuff, so I cannot, uh, I cannot help but bring out basically a space shuttle. It's cool, it's got a big old like, I don't know, is that a laser? What is that? I think it is. Yeah. So, this is just a tiny snippet of all the Lego we have. We have tons of Lego. We're getting in a whole bunch of new Lego that's available September 1st as well that I wanted to bring out, but I was like, eh, do I bring it out when I'm not supposed to? I don't know. Um, let me just say that if you watched the Ahsoka show last night that just, that just got out on Disney, that was actually good. Good job. Dave Floney, I love my man, Dave Floney. Um, yeah, there'll be a Star Wars thing in there for that, so. Okay, this is brand new. We've never had this in the store before. This is from uh, from Kobe, and this is like just really neat stuff. So you've got a M1, M1A2 Abrams um, tank. It's kind of like Lego, kind of. And, but how about that? An F-35 Lightning. And an A-10 Warthog. <sighs> These things, it's the coolest jets in the history of the United States, in my opinion. I guess besides an F-22. But this thing, this thing can take a beating. It can lose like pieces off of it and, and still bring your guy home in, in, in one piece. The A-10 by far is awesome. It's got this big old cannon on it, so when it shoots in, it goes and just obliterates everything in front of it. Okay, let's get into some gaming stuff. Uh, we got in some Kill Team from Warhammer. Felgor Ravagers and Inquisitorial Agents. These are like brand new. Like we got these uh, this week sometime. Um, I ordered this Dungeons and Dragons paint set. Um, it's got 36 different paints in it and I think it has like a... Uh, what does it have? It's got a bunch of stuff in it. Yeah, look at all those paints that it has. So might seem expensive, but if you start to add it up, I think you actually save money by getting the full set. Um, I got in some D&D paints uh, about four months ago just to see how they do, and they sold right away, so I'm like, all right, I'm going to get more stuff in. Got in some Pokemon. Pokemon is 
tough. If you don't have like an like an all out game store and all that stuff, sometimes it's kind of hard to get Pokemon. Um, so we've got your uh, uh, what is that? Tinkaton EX. Man, I hope I said that right. <laughs> Anyways, there's a battle deck. Um, let's see, what do we got? Another versus deck. We've got some Scarlet and Violet boosters. I got a whole bunch of packs of boosters finally over there. So when the kids come in and then we just want to get some Pokemon cards. There you go. Uh, Paldea Evolved. Pretty sure that's a battle box. And then the tins. The tins always do well. There's basically, a, there's like boosters in there. There could be some good, like one or two uh, cards that are, that are unique. And then, of course, you get in a tin. I actually found my son's Pokemon tin from, jeez, like, how old is he now? So it was like 10 years ago, we found. It still has cards in it, too. I was tempted to sell them, but then I'm like, now I keep them. Okay, some, uh, some Gundam and some Simpro. So we carry both. Um, this is a Freedom Gundam um, Master Grade SD Super Deformed. So basically, it's like a, it's like a smaller version with like the dimensions aren't exactly right, but they do it on purpose, so it's not supposed to be messed up. Um, and then this guy is, man, I hope I say this right, uh, Kanar. Anyways, it's in a big box and it's 70 bucks. So we're always getting a new Gundam. Anything that comes out new, we usually get on time. And uh, I don't know, we sell so much of it. It just, all these boxes to me sort of blur together, but uh, that's okay. That's what we have, Kip, and uh, yeah, yeah, that's what we have. Okay, all right, this is cool, this is super cool. These are picture projectors. So you put a little battery in them, and it's a flashlight, and then you put the little covers over them, and you can project it onto a wall and stuff. So I thought this was really neat. This is one of our new toys that we've, we've gotten. Um, there's a couple different other ones over there too. I just needed to grab, you know, one or two. And of course, space, so I'm gonna get that one. So I thought that was really neat. And then if you ever need a flashlight, well, there you go, you got a flashlight. Uh, okay, here's another one. These are called Gujitsu. There's a Batman, he's super stretchy. And I know why they call him Goo, because they got gel filling. Um, so if it's anything like my kid, uh, he would just poke a hole in it and squeeze all the goo out. There's a Sonic, and there's a Hulk. And there's, uh, there's actually a lot more than this too. Um, pretty much all uh, like superheroes and stuff like that. I just grabbed the ones that I thought uh, would catch everybody's eye. But here's, here, look at that. I mean, there's a whole bunch of them. There's Groot, Groot in there. You can make Groot grow. Groot grow, did I say that? I said that right, okay. All right, now, just like 1984, we have got some Cabbage Patch Kids. So I fully expect within the next hour or so, after this is released for a whole bunch of crazy psychopathic moms to come in and burst through the door and start trashing the place just to get a hold of some Cabbage Patch Kids because that's what happened in 1984. Um, anyways, there's a whole bunch of different ones. I thought that was pretty cool. They're about 20 bucks. So I know that's not going to happen now, but still. It's a legit Cabbage Patch Kid though. Enchanted Forest Friends Atticus Bear. Speaking of 1984, we've got, how about Garbage Pail Kids plushers. So these are like, uh, I think they're like keychains. And there's a whole bunch of different ones. And of course, um, you basically just grab them and hope that you get the one you want. Or you could just buy the whole box and open them up and see what you get. But seven bucks, so. But Garbage Pail Kids, again, 1984, 85. There was a, what was the one that, it was Alex something and it was a booger. So he had like boogers everywhere. And I remember. Oh, I think I, I have that one. I remember getting somebody walk, like in elementary school, like making fun of me because of that. So that was wonderful. Real Littles. And there's a super secret surprise in there. Oh, it's like a little, oh, it's a journal. Oh, okay, I get it. And then here's a little backpack. Real Little's backpack. There's a whole bunch of other ones about those too. And then uh, we got some squishies again. We got some Pokemon squishies because how can we, how can we not have Pokemon squishies? I know that that's Pikachu. It's about as far as my knowledge goes. <laughs> and then uh, this one I thought was pretty neat. This is a uh, Coco Melon. 
and it's a doll, and it looks like it, it looks like the doll from uh, from uh, Toy Story, right? The Incredibles. Is that what that is? The Incredibles. Well, Jack Jack. Oh, Jack Jack. Is that oh. what you're thinking? Really? I think he looks like Jack Jack. He does look like Jack Jack. All right, well here. Because Jack Jack had the little curl. Got to listen to this. I thought it was going to go on for a lot longer than that. <laughs> yeah, we got that too. All right, finally. I haven't been able to say this for a while here on uh, What's New, but I can finally do so because I saw this the other day and it made me so happy. We've got unicorn poop once again. This is your uh, unicorn poop, uh, mystical and sparkly. Get your hands on it. I'm pretty sure it's just, uh, it's just goo. It's just that... Um, uh, like thinking putty type stuff that they had, but uh, anyways, it is unicorn poop for real, and uh, yeah, you can say poop to your mom and not get in trouble if you if you want to get this. So that's great. Seven bucks, not terrible. All right, that was a lot of stuff. We had a lot of stuff built up uh, from last month, so um, get in here and buy it. It's getting close to Christmas time. I know I I know you guys probably don't want to hear that. I know it's August, but. In our minds, of course, we always start to think way ahead of uh, what we need to make you guys happy by December 25th. So there it is. Make sure that you uh, subscribe, like, tell your friends, and we'll make another video for you soon.